Hey everybody, it's Anna, lovely with lard, here at Sober Mesa Farm Kitchen. And this morning, I have been super busy. Um, actually, yesterday, last night, and into today, I have been super busy, if you can see in the background. I have been baking sourdough bread. I have sourdough bread coming out of my ears. Um, my starter was just, I just couldn't throw it away. And I really, you know what, I have lots of friends and family that I know that would enjoy this bread. But as I was making this bread this morning, I thought, oh my goodness, what better to pair with our fresh homemade sourdough bread than whipped lard. Whipped lard, you said? I've never heard of such a thing. Well, let me tell you, you've had whipped butter, I'm sure at some point in time in your life at a restaurant or maybe even in your own home. Whipped lard is a hundred times better than whipped butter even thought about being and we add lots of yummy flavors to it super quick you can do it takes about five minutes to do especially when you have lard in your home now here are the ingredients that you're going to have to gather in order to do the whipped lard here they are Now that you have all your ingredients ready to go, you got your mise en place, we're gonna go ahead and start making our whipped lard. And you can either use your KitchenAid mixer with the whisk attachment, or you can use a handheld whisk as well. But since we're gonna to have to whisk, whisk, um, whip it for quite a while, for about five minutes, um, I'd rather use my KitchenAid mixer. It's quick, I can whip my lard, and I can go do something else, multitask mom, and come back later. So here we go. Let's whip that lard. All right, here at my KitchenAid, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my rendered lard that I had come to room temperature. So in this is probably approximately about two cups. We're gonna get this all in um, our KitchenAid. And as you can see, I have my whisk attachment that we will be using so that will help incorporate air into this lard. So that's a really important that that's the, um, the attachment that you use. I wanna make sure that I get all of this good, good, good lard out. this off to the side. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my attachment. And then I'm gonna put it down, lock it into place, and I'm gonna turn this on high. Set that timer for five minutes. Here I am with all my ingredients and my whipped lard on the counter. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold these amazing ingredients in, starting with my red pepper flakes, two tablespoons of red pepper flakes. Sprinkle those in. Next, I'm going to add my dried rosemary. And you can use fresh rosemary, which I would recommend, but I didn't have any. So we're gonna go ahead and do the dried rosemary, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of lemon zest. We'll go ahead and sprinkle that in there and go ahead and empty that all in there. Lemon, fresh lemon zest is just always such a, adds such a great flavor to things. And then we're gonna add one minced clove of garlic that we sauteed really quick um, in a pan with the, just a little bit of lard. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. It's been cooled. And then we're gonna do about one and a half teaspoons of salt to sprinkle it around in there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and fold these ingredients in. We wanna be nice and gentle with this, taking our time, folding it in. See how light and airy that lard got? So beautiful. All right, there we have, all incorporated. 
Now that you have all your ingredients folded into this beautiful whipped lard, we are gonna get ready to see what it looks like spread on some amazing sourdough bread. I just wanna take a minute though, before I do that, to show you, look how beautiful this is. I mean, it almost looks like homemade ice cream. It's just so beautiful, so fluffy, and so elegant, and so different than anything that you've ever had. And then maybe some of your guests, if you'd like to do better dinner parties, have ever had. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and slice myself a piece of bread, which is left over from yesterday. I baked bread yesterday, and I baked bread today. It's a bread, I'm a bread baking fool right now. So we're gonna take a little bit of this bread, this beautiful sourdough bread, and I'm gonna spread some of this amazing whipped lard on it. Look how well it spreads, look at that. I mean, butter doesn't even spread that good, come on. So friends, as I get ready to eat this, Y'all, this is so amazing. I mean, watch me do. It makes me want to sing a song like, my kids would be so embarrassed. Whip, whip, watch me nay nay. Whip, whip, watch me eat lard. I mean, this is, this is what, I mean, men, you would really like this. Women, you're gonna really like this. Don't worry with the name of whipped lard. Watch my other video and it'll tell you why lard is so much better than any other oil out there, especially lard from Magnolista pigs that we raise personally here on this farm. So, from our house of lard to your house. May God bless you and in so many ways. Have an amazing day.